Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, mid monthly for the month of October uh, starting from the 15th through the end of uh, October 2018. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Sagittarius. So I've already pulled out the cards. Um, so um, yeah, let me explain you how the reading is going to be. I've pulled out four cards from the uh, right away deck. Then I've pulled out one card from the uh, secret language of colors cards. Uh, then one card from the Romance Oracle uh, for your additional love guidance. I will be using a uh, Smith White Tarot deck for the clarifiers. Um, and yeah, let's begin the reading. Be mindful of uh, uh, that it's a general reading. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick what resonates and leave the rest. And if you are willing to get a detailed um reading regarding your particular situation be that in your love life be that in your career reach out to me on my email id in the description box and you can also follow me on instagram where i will be doing uh dailies soon like very soon so yeah let's begin the reading um let's see what's coming up for you for the remaining month of october 2018 um let's see six of pentacle King of Wands, the Empress, and the Tower. Hmm. I would suggest you to, um, to avoid anything negative coming your way do uh give charity uh that will help you re uh, kind of you know avoid the negativity coming in your life and um that will kind of you know uh, protect you from all the evil eyes uh, or all the negativity uh, or negative energy coming your way so one thing you need to do that and i do pick up the energies that um you will be trying your best to maintain a healthy balance when it comes to you dealing a situation regarding your love life which i believe will bring you something um some something disruptive is going to happen in your love life which will kind of you know um which will bring a moment of chaos in your life and that has to do something to do with the um with the um with either the you know since it's a general reading i will not specify gender specify it but yeah i do pick up the feminine energy very strongly which is connected somehow to the person that you are dealing with and i do pick up the energy of a motherly figure or it could be a fatherly figure too since it's a general reading i cannot specify it but it will have to do something uh with a member of the person that you are dealing with um a member of their family uh and you will have to uh deal with this particular situation this uh this chaos that you will feel in your life coming will have to do uh with this person who i believe is the uh either the mother or you know it could be elder sister to that person or elder brother to that person that you are dealing with there will be something happening in your partner's life that will um that i believe you already see that coming i don't know why i'm picking up that energy and that is why you are going to be you know uh be charitable in the um starting from maybe you have already started giving the uh you know the uh, doing the charities giving you know helping the poor feeding the poor and stuff like that because you saw it coming already and it's like it's something that um you knew that it would happen and it is going to be um it will kind of you know shake you up it's something uh going to be something big something huge i will definitely take a clarifier for all these cards just to get the uh, clear picture of what's going on in your life 
regarding this particular person and who this person is is this somebody from uh, your past or is it somebody that you are currently dealing with or what the situation is even though i do speak of that energy very strongly it's somebody that you are dealing with right now and um And I do pick up with the Six of Pentacles here, I do feel like your relationship with this person um, is somehow going to be connected with the third person. The third person could be, um, could be the reason of the chaos with this picture here. It's like um, um, the person standing here is a third person and you two, uh, you and the person that you are dealing with, your life depends, you know, your your uh, love life, I would say, depend on them. If they, um, if they let you have this relationship, you will have it. And if they, if they want to create any issue, they will create an issue. And it could be that person who is going to be creating a mess here in your life, in your love life, I would say again, because I do pick up that energy very strongly. I don't see it's something regarding your work. It's something related to your love life. This person is also some somebody related. The chaos might be related to this person, which will be affecting your home life too, or the home life of the person that you are dealing with. It's like, you know, these cards are like this you know these two together and these two together that's the energy i'm picking up i, I haven't you know kind of assigned these two like these two and in, in other readings that i did but it's like you know that's the energy i'm picking up the chaos created here is because of this person because you both are kind of you know looking up to this person to give or kind of you know just leave leave us alone kind of a feeling with this um card here and this person is kind of um it's 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 a very negative person over there. It's it's somebody uh, who knows that he can spoil the situation for the two of you, and then they you know this person knows that you know if if this person um, if this person can be nice to you both, your love life will be going you know smoothly, and if they. It, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm picking up the magician kind of energy with this person here. But let me see what's coming up. At the bottom of the deck, you do have seven of cups. There will be so many um, uncertainties, I would say, um, around your love life this month. Uh, for the remaining month, I would say. So... Yeah, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, this Queen of Pentacles. Um, let me take the clarifiers first. So then I will, I will, I will have the clear picture of what's going on here. Let's see what's coming up for the Six of Pentacles. Very scattered energy, I believe. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, uh, Ace of Swords, and um, then comes the Three of uh, Wands. I do believe, like I, you know, accidentally said, Eight of Swords for the Ace of Swords. I do believe there is something that you can cut ties with to avoid this, um, you know, this situation. It's like, you know, it's something that you can deal with. And it's it's up to you, up to this person that you are dealing with. If they decide, it's, it's something to do with the distance, the person that you are dealing with. It, it's like, you know, this person has the hold on the two of you or on your love life and it's like you need to cut ties with this person to get back the control of your life of your love life so that's the energy i'm picking up with this um let me take a clarify for ace of swords but you need to cut ties with judgment
I believe that um, you will be able to get free from this third party situation if, if that is how it is. You will be able to cut ties with that person. Let me take a clarify for the page of wands first. King of Wands again. So this person is definitely the person who is in this particular situation. The person who is controlling your la uh, your love life is somebody connected to the King of Wands because the King of Wands came up again for the King of you know for this particular situation. So definitely this person that you that is connected in this particular situation that is uh, that has the key to your relationship is somebody connected to the King of Wands, and um, if they desire. If they want to have a relationship with you, they need to cut ties with that particular person. And that person is somebody from their past. And um, it is something or somebody they can cut ties with. It's it's in their in it's in their hand. It's like you know, they can do whatever they want to do, and they have the strength to take the step. And I believe they will be taking the step to cut ties with that particular person to have the strength back in their hand. Let's see who this King of Wands is. Definitely, they need to um, see. They need to cut ties. Uh, for the King of Wands, you do have. Uh, let me tell you. Let me show you. Fool, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Magician. So what you need to do is. To, to get done with this particular situation, the negativity that is kind of, you know, stopping you two from having good times together because there is abundance coming up for the two of you. But this person that you are dealing with, they have to cut ties with their past. So they need to take a stand for themselves and for you and for this relationship that you have. And, and you know, cut ties with your past. You, they need to get done with this judgment before you can start anew with them. And once they get done with this judgment, they they can, you know, this energy is coming from their past. They need to get done with this. They need to run away from this magician, which I believe is the person who is controlling you too. And once they do that, they need to cut ties from that because they are controlled by them. They, they, they are, you know, they are not... Um, they want to start with you something solid, something beautiful, but they will not be able to do it until and unless they cut ties with this person from their past. And uh, this person is somebody from, they could be their ex, they could be somebody, um, since it's a general reading, it could be you dealing with an ex of yours and then you have a current partner too. So you need to cut ties with the past to have a you know, stable relationship because it's a general reading, it can be, uh, you know, for for some cases, for very few cases, it could be completely reversed. It could be your energy and the other person that I'm talking about, it could be your partner too. So, you know, it's a general reading. So if you want to get a personal reading, you can reach out to me to, to get a clear picture for your situation in this particular, you know, in this particular scenario and what's going to come in your life for that. So let me see what the tower is all about because I do feel like you will be getting done with this. You will be cutting ties. Uh, the person that you are dealing with, they will be cutting ties with this person. So let's see then why the tower is here. I believe they will, they will cut ties. But the control, you know, they will cut ties and they will uh, start new with you. And then the past person will come back and they will kind of, you know, start manipulating them again, which will bring the tower moment here, which will make them to think about it again with the lover's card, four of swords, temperance coming up. It's like, you know, it, the whole situation will get, will get imbalanced once they are back again. Once your, you know, once their ex come back again, who is having the power of magician. For some of you, they might be into something, uh, you know, they, they might be manipulating with your energies too, or the energies of the partner that you have. Uh, so that's why I mentioned in the very start, do give charity, do protect yourself from evil eye, because 
I do see that coming up for you very strongly in the, I did see that coming up for you in, in the start very strongly. And before even the magician card came out, I did mention that this person has the, uh, is controlling you people as a magician because they are so manipulative. Let's see uh, who this empress is. Let's see who this empress is. So, I believe this energy here is um, this energy here is very strongly coming up as your own energy with the uh, lovers. Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Five of Swords. I do pick up the energies that when this person is not able to cut ties from this past person that they are dealing with and they are getting manipulated by them, you will have a moment where you will, you might have a fight with this person and you will tell them, reach me out once you are dealt, uh, once you are done dealing with this person that you have from your past. And, um, then you will just, you know, uh, sit back. You will just, you know, have a moment of, uh, um, it, it's more like you will take, you will kind of, you know, detach from this person because you don't want to deal with this thing anymore because it's like, you know, it's, it's, um, it's spoiling your peace and you don't want anything to spoil your peace and that's why you will take a time off from this person and you will tell them once you have done this uh once you have kind of you know decided on this particular person on this particular situation once you have um once you have you know come out of this whole thing and, and you know once you have totally cut ties with that particular person with that past uh and have made up your mind whether you want me or this person or whether you uh whether you want to take control back from this person and you know we both think or start something new together leaving the past behind then reach me out that's the energy i'm picking up you know you will be telling this person to you know have a uh, have let's have a break and let's you know let's um let's not talk you deal with the situation because I don't want to, um, I don't want to get suffered because you are dealing with something from your past. I want to have peaceful days and nights. I don't want to get into fights. I don't want to um, be on a waiting side for you to decide whether you want me or you want that person. And if you want me, then why you are in touch with that person from your past? So that's the energy coming up very strongly, which will be disruptive for you because you don't want to deal with this anymore it's it's more like you have done it and you have told this person and this person will say okay i will um i will cut ties with them and then you start something new and then their you know their ex come back again and they will you know they will be you know again manipulating them and that would be kind of you know giving you um um a hard time uh, you know, it's it, it's more like because you will feel like you know this person is not balanced or something because you will feel like you know they they need to make a, make up their mind with the lovers card here they need to make up their mind they need to decide on it they need to think about it what they want and once you once they know that what they want then they can come to you and offer you the cup of love because you don't want to be with them when they are juggling with you and this other person you want to be with them once they have made up their mind about you so that's coming up for you for the month of uh, for the remaining month of october so let's see what's coming up for you for the romance and juridical card guidance give your relationship a chance work on your partnership hmm. and i believe that you 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 will be giving them time but you know it's like Initially, they will cut ties with them, then they will come back again, they, that will spoil your relationship with them and then you will be telling this person, okay, get done with this first and then come to me. So you will be ready to give them another chance once they have dealt with this particular situation, you will be uh, giving them another chance. 
and you will be ready to work on your partnership but you don't want any third party situation to be involved in this relationship so let's see what's coming up for you for the secret language of color cards will be rejuvenate your body there you go you can um you can either meditate on this particular color you can wear this color uh, for those of you who are you know female watching it and they are into jewelry for those of you who are male or men they can you know they can also wear a ruby stone if they want to that will help you have a positivity or rejuvenation of um, body mind and soul it's like you know it will enhance your um, ability to do things it will enhance your ability to uh, um, you know think properly with all your mind and heart into something it's it's more like it, it will kind of you know give you the power it will give you the energy to uh, make the decisions right you can meditate on this particular stone you can even uh, wear this color uh, it will also bring you um, bring bring you the balance that you need uh, you can check out this color uh, the shade of uh, red you can uh, you can you know um, meditate on this light too if if that's that if that will give you this um you know this uh, uh if that could relax you or if that could bring you the positive energy you can you know be in the red light or you know the um that shade of red which is of uh, that ruby stone i believe um yeah It will definitely increase your, um, it's more like, uh, it will heal your body, it will heal your, um, I believe for some of you, I do believe that it will be kind of, you know, keeping you um, protected from the negativity that might be coming your way because of the sex of yours so uh do meditate on this color do uh wear this color if you could um or you know you could uh, you could have red uh things in your room for for this particular uh, span of uh, uh span of time like the last 15 days of uh, october and um this will make you feel good and positive and you know your energy will kind of you know uh rise because of this uh, color if it will kind of it will kind of you know enlighten your um you will feel uh, dynamic you will feel energetic you will feel uh positive and you will be able to think uh you know think through things and decide what you want very clearly because you will be energetically uh charged with this uh, with this light or this color and this color kind of, you know, will soothe you and your mind too during this period of time. So yeah, that's coming up for you for the remaining month of October. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. And uh, um, if you are willing to get a personal reading uh, to get an additional guidance on your particular situation, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for uh, the Sagittarians. Take care and bye.